It is a side of Kevin Vickers most Canadians have never seen. The former Sergeant at Arms was hailed as a hero in the days following the Parliament Hill shooting last fall. But he never really talked about what happened the moment he came face to face with a gunman who had just killed a Canadian soldier at the war memorial. Today, Vickers revealed it had a deep effect on him. He told the story to the graduating class at Mount Allison University today. Full disclosure, Peter Mansbridge is Chancellor of the University, which is why you'll see him in the story too. Senior correspondent Terry Malewski has more. Terry? Wendy, for six months, Kevin Vickers has said very little publicly about the attack here on Parliament Hill. But today, he finally told some of the story. Vickers, you might say, is old school, a tall veteran of the Mounties who's not given to talking about his own heroics. But today, with Peter Mansbridge officiating, Vickers was honoured by Mount Allison University in his beloved New Brunswick, which meant he had to talk about confronting a killer. I found myself on one side of the pillar and a gunman on the other side of the pillar. His gun was right there. There was a moment where I thought I'd just reach out and grab the gun. He shot and fired, and the moment he shot and fired, I dove through the air, landing on the floor just beneath him. But Vickers did not describe how he pulled the trigger. You can hear it on the video. The boom of the rifle was followed quickly by the pop-pop of Vickers' pistol. Afterwards, with his gun still in his hand, Vickers looked calm, but he was not. I went home that night, and I had a hard time going to sleep. And I woke up around 5.30 in the morning, and I was crying. It was the loneliest moment of my life. He wasn't lonely for long. Later that day, he received an ovation in the House of Commons, and soon he says, his mother persuaded him to go home to New Brunswick to be with his family, where he prayed for Michael Zehaf Bibo, the man he'd shot. So with my grandchildren in my arms, I said a prayer for Michael. Vickers says they also prayed for Zehaf Bibo's mother and for the mother of Corporal Nathan Cirillo, murdered at the war memorial by Zehaf Bibo. The message to students, says Vickers, is trust your mother. Because, class, you're going to have your October 22nd. And you just always remember that your mother is there who loves you, who will protect you, and always stand with you. Kevin Vickers has moved on. He's now Canada's ambassador to Ireland. But the attack of October 22nd clearly stays with him and with Parliament, which is still trying to figure out exactly what to do to ensure that it doesn't happen again. Wendy. Thanks so much, Terry. Terry Malewski in Ottawa tonight.